It's just really been this uh, unilateral effort to get New Hampshire back up. People across New Hampshire still feeling the impacts of Thursday's nor'easter from down trees, hanging wires, and no power. The New Hampshire Electric Co-op says their restoration plan is ahead of schedule, with hundreds of crew members helping thousands of customers get back online. We're anticipating we'll be substantially restored by Monday night. Alyssa says working conditions for crews haven't been favorable in their more rural service areas, with extensive storm damage getting in the way of accessibility to power lines. Most of our lines are not on the roadway like they are right here. Most of them are in our right-of-ways, meaning they're through uh, very wooded, areas, brambles. And Eversource says the damage left from heavy wet snow and down poles has been their biggest challenge in helping their customers. We had over 300 block roads that require our crews to, to clear and walk through and just clear the vegetation before we can get our equipment in to make the repairs. But they say their customers still without power can expect to have it back by Sunday night. We have a 1,200 line crews. Uh, that are actively working on restoration, both primary and secondary. But we have over 2,000 crews out in the field. That includes vegetation, damage assessors, and all the line crews that are, that are performing their work. And if you do come across any downed trees or down wires, we're told it's never a good idea to go near them for your own safety. If you do come across that, you can always call 911 or your power company to report them. We're live in Manchester tonight. Imani Fleming, WMUR News 9.